Hi guys, it is a gorgeous Saturday, February 16th, 2013, and this is just kind of a PS to the two rants that I did yesterday, maybe the 30 people on planet Earth listen to them. I want to listen to this PS. My first rant yesterday I read from uh, the e-newsletter I receive from the Center for Biological Diversity called, I believe, Our Endangered Earth. And then in my second rant, I did a, a rant on a mainstream media article. I can't remember where it's from, uh, about this horse shit, this absolutely horse shit notion that is getting back into the mainstream media that overpopulation is a myth. That overpopulation is a myth, and uh, the and that some sort of threat to this uh, country and this planet is in fact underpopulation. Uh, you know, obviously, anyone with a brain understands how absolutely absurd that notion is. I mean, and it's almost funny, except the tragic thing is, is the number of people without brains. Uh, in this country and on this planet. No, their brains are inside their heads stuck so firmly up their ass that they will never be able to see the light of day. No matter how much uh, light is being shined up their rectums, they're going to absolutely refuse to believe that overpopulation is the single biggest uh, threat facing this planet. So anyway, I finished those two rants, and so what I did, I go back up to my trailer, flip on my email, and what came in while I was sitting on this rock was the other, was the other newsletter that I receive from the Center for Biological Diversity, which you too can get. Uh, and, I, and I'll put the link on how to do that if I can figure out how to put the link on. Anyway, the other newsletter that Center for Biological Diversity uh, talks uh, is called Pop X. Pop X, a newsletter on human population growth and the extinction crisis. And uh, they particularly look for stories how the sixth mass extinction, which they talk about. Uh, and their other newsletter is a direct result, is a direct result of overpopulation. And so it's no surprise that one of their stories, which I'll just read uh, this week, which has links to other stories and to the bigger new and, and to the website. Uh, it is called a baby bust or not so much. And I'm just going to read this, guys, and, and then you can uh, click on my link and find all these other links. Talking about what I was talking about yesterday is, the, is these idiots making their way into the mainstream media and talking about the population bust on this planet. So here's a little antidote to that horse shit. Okay. Have you heard or seen gloomy media reports on falling birth rates or complaints about how the U.S. fertility rates are below the replacement level of 2.1 births per American woman? Even national public radio stations are getting into the act. Oh, God. Now, NPR, uh, it, 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 I guess. I don't even want to know what that's about. Okay, so how should a population activist respond to this hand-wringing over an alleged national baby bust? Okay, you can start by reading the piece in today in, in the Chicago Daily Herald. There's a link to that. And then use these simple talking points to help educate your fellow Americans. I am here getting ready to use these talking points to help educate my fellow Americans that overpopulation is the number one driver of the sixth mass extinction on this planet, among other things. Number one, the world adds 200 
thousand more people every day to this planet, including five thousand people every day in the United States uh, with our great falling birth rate. Yeah, right. Number two. The fertility rate in the United States has been below replacement levels since the 1970s and population growth has continued nonetheless. It has, it has doubled. Do you understand this? That this replacement level population rate is one is grossly misunderstood. That uh, how can a population below replacement level double in 40 or 50 years? And guys, this goes directly into the next point, uh, which I mentioned yesterday, that the United States, with its quote below replacement population levels. It's now around 300 million. It is expected to grow to 450 million in the next 40 years by 2050. Uh, depending on which curve you choose, that our population will be between 420 million people and 450 million people in less than 40 years. Okay? This is going to be half again. We're going to add over 100 million people. This is 100 more cities the size of Austin, Texas will be added to this. Uh, and, and, and right here in the fastest growing city in the U.S., Austin, Texas, I guess we're going to put another 700,000 people here in Austin will be part of that 100 million plus people being added to this country. And the planet is on track for 10 billion people by the end of the century. It'll, it'll, of course, uh, you know, a lot of people, including Ham by Little Tail, are saying the population by the end of this century will not be 10 billion people. It will be 1 billion people or less. The or less, one option is zero, that when Mother Nature finishes with the broom that she is getting out, we will be damn lucky to have a population of one on this planet, much less one billion or ten billion on this planet uh, when the 22nd century uh, dawns. Okay, <clears throat> and what is the result of all this? <coughs> <coughs> this planet is in the midst of its sixth mass extinction. Species, meaning our fellow earthlings, are disappearing with heartbreaking speed between 1,000 and 10,000 times faster than the natural background rate, the natural rate of species extinction as they evolve into new species. And this is not only are we eliminating our fellow earthlings at uh, thousands times the normal rate, but it is cutting off any chance they ever have of evolving into future species. We are not just destroying the, the present species, we are robbing, robbing the planet of all the future species that would have normally been able to evolve into future species. Do you get it, guys? You know, is it this hard? <clears throat> there are also abundant signs that our ecological safety net is falling apart under current population conditions, under current overpopulations, overshoot conditions. 
Okay, check back in with our 7 billion and counting website. So this is a link to the larger website, the uh, Center for Biological Diversity's uh, sister website called 7 billion and counting, and there's a link to it here, to arm yourself with information. Arm yourself with information on how population growth affects oceans, climate change, and species extinction. You know, as you, as you encounter more and more of this bullshit baby bust stuff, like, I, you know, this idiot Jonathan Last making his crawl around the uh, media uh, circuit now. Uh, you will be able to arm yourself with the facts going up against this level of stupidity, ignorance, and idiocy. Growth boosterism. I love that. Growth boosterism abounds in today's media landscape. But the time for that boosterism, I would call it shucksterism, snake oil sell selling, has long passed. Let us start a conversation that actually makes sense. And that is what I am futilely trying to do here on The Rock is trying to start a conversation that actually makes sense. Although I, I, I'm completely hopeless, I, you know, like Don Quixote tilting at his windmills, this damn uh, dumb hippie fool will be getting back up uh, on his fool's rock trying to start a conversation on this planet that makes sense. So let me wrap this up and I will continue tomorrow with this same conversation on Sunday morning from this rock. But right now, I've got a barn to paint. So off I go into this gorgeous Saturday afternoon to paint a barn in the salvage economy. Bye, guys.